Peggy 18. Patrick, Battlefield 4's got a beta. What's it all about? Well, of course, we want to give people a sneak peek of what the game is actually all about. And uh, this beta will have contain one map, uh, Siege of Shanghai. So when people take part in the beta, they play the game. How do you go about turning that feedback and the data you get into tweaking the game before it actually comes out? Well, even if it's, we're doing it quite late, we still have the opportunity to do some tweaks. Uh, and of course, we want to get feedback not only from uh, the beta, but also from the actual game, game when it's out on the market. And we have a history of following up with the game you know, for months and months after it's been released. So to us, it's, it's an ongoing service. Now, this beta will be playable on current gen, yes. but obviously we've got next gen looming. It's yes. uh, with us very soon. How does that work in terms of getting the playtesting for the current gen and then moving that forward to apply it to the next gen? I think that's, of course, a problem that we cannot solve. You know, we, we wish people had the next gen consoles earlier because then they could uh, participate in the beta as well. Uh, but in general, we are collecting feedback from both the current gen consoles and the PC uh, beta. Uh, and applying all that data and information onto the next gen consoles. And as you said, you do support the game once it's out. I mean, yeah. updates do come in and things do get tweaked, don't they? Absolutely. And the cool thing with the next gen consoles is it's even easier for us to do updates. So even you know people won't have to uh, struggle too much to get updates. We can just push it out to them and make sure that the game is as good as can be. Well, that's right, because it updates when you're not actually at the console. So no more switching a console on and going, oh, I've got to wait an hour now yeah. for a, you know, a three gig update. It happens when you're, when you're in bed. Yeah. If you choose to do that, then it will do that for you. So if people want to help DICE make the best game they can, how can they get involved in the beta? Well, of course, there's an open beta where everyone can get, get in and, and that we want everyone to participate and give us as much feedback as possible. But then, of course, there are several ways, one being being a premium member where you can actually get in earlier. Um, and of course, we want to give something extra to the people that we find more premium.